Mr. Pinkerton, even though we are in the midst of this awful war, it had to happen to unite our great nation so that nothing like this could ever, ever happen again and we could all be unified. Exactly, Mr. President. The bloody sacrifices we are making today will just create a better world for America tomorrow. A world where we can get along and live in harmony. That's what's worth fighting for. I picture America 160 years from now as a country where our children sit safely in their schools, being educated so they can have a beautiful life, each generation better than the next. I'm dreaming of an America 160 years from now where the people of this great nation are united as one, working together, not divided by political affiliation, religion, race, or class. An America no longer suffering from the poison of racism or the bullets flying through the air killing our brothers and sisters, but living in peace and harmony. That is the dream we are fighting for today, my friend. Those are wonderful things to aspire to, Mr. President. It'll make going through this hell we're in right now worth it. Do you really think we'll get there? I can dream, can't I, Mr. Pinkerton? Because if we don't have a dream, then we'll continue to live in this nightmare that we're in right now, in some form or another. It has to happen, Mr. President. We can't continue to live in a country this divided. It just is not sustainable. Things have to change. If things don't change, just shoot me. <laughs> Too soon?